Okay, in this problem, we're asked to calculate the iterated integral. Um, the double integral is from 1 to 2 and then 0 to y. And our function that we're integrating is 2xy times e to the x squared. And we're integrating first with respect to x and then y. So we can kind of section off our integrals so we can see first we want to evaluate the integral from 0 to y of our function with respect to x. So so I pulled the y term on the outside of our integral since y is being held constant. So we have the integral from 0 to y of 2x times e to the x squared. This looks like uh, with respect to x, so, and it looks like uh, it would be a good problem to use u substitution. So if we let u be x squared, then du is going to be 2x dx. So we have 2x dx. So our integral simplifies to e to the u. And then we also need to change our limits of integration. So when x is 0, u is also 0. And when x is y, u is y squared. So we have y times the integral from 0 to y squared of e to the u, du. And we'll evaluate our integral of e to the u, which we know to be e to the u. And we have y times e to the u, evaluated from 0 to y squared. which when u is y squared, we get y times e to the y squared. When u is 0, e to the 0 is 1, so we just get minus y. So our first integral simplifies to, or evaluates at y e to the y squared minus y. So we can go ahead and plug that in. And we get the integral from 1 to 2 of y e to the y squared minus y dy. We can split this integral into 2. And we get that the we get the integral from 1 to 2 of y e to the y squared dy minus the integral from 1 to 2 of y dy. So again, it looks like uh, substitution would be good for this first integral. So we'll let, we'll use v, since we already used u once, v as y squared. And dv is 2y dy. So we can insert a 2 over 2. And we get our first integral is 1 half e to the v dv. And we're going to have to change our limits of integration. So when y is 1, v is also 1. And when y is 2, v is 4. So our integral is now from 1 to 4 of 1 half e to the v dv. And 
our integral of um, y is y squared over 2. So and that's still evaluated from 1 to 2. So we know we can bring the 1 half to the outside of this integral. And we know the integral of e to the v is e to the v. And we can go ahead and evaluate this integral. So we have 4 over 2 is 2 minus 1 half. So we have 3 halves. So we're subtracting 3 halves. And we can go ahead and evaluate this integral. one-half e to the fourth minus one-half times e minus three-halves. So our iterated integral equates to one-half e to the fourth minus one-half e minus three-halves.